And this one has just been <laughs> pissing me off it's left so and insane. right. It's so insane. Mm-hmm. What do we got? Everybody knows that the Fukushima plant number one, you know, Daiichi, you know, the big disaster that happened because of that uh, typhoon or whatever. What is that? That um, yeah, tidal wave tidal thing. Wave, yeah. What do you call it? What's, what is the proper proper tsunami? Tsunami. Is yeah. it a tsunami? Mm. Yeah. So the tsunami came along, okay? Messed up this nuclear reactor. Huge disaster. The whole area has been evacuated. People can't live there anymore. Now, there's a whole bunch of contaminated water, obviously, because mm. that's how nuclear plants work. And they've been treating it now for years and years and years. And they're going, they've been planning to release this into the ocean. Yes. Okay. Not my favorite thing in the world that nuclear contaminated water is going to go into the ocean. Not my favorite thing. In Probably the world. not. No. Um, but you know what? It's going to happen. But you know who really is pissed off about this is China. Yeah. You know why? Because they're making a huge political mess out of this. Yeah, actually, just before you get into that, I just want everyone to know that when this Fukushima thing happened, everyone in China freaked out. Yeah. And they started buying salt. Yes. Like crazy. And then salt prices went through the roof. Yeah. And I remember my mother-in-law spent like $30 on like a packet of salt or something. And yes. she was like, Was wasn't this a good bargain? Because she like yeah. paid less than other people. I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think so. Nope. <laughs> um. Okay, so there's this crazy thing. They're going to be releasing this uh, treated water. It's, less, uh, it's estimated to be less than 22 trillion, whatever the hell a becquerel is. That's a big number, I bet. Yeah, and the pre-2011 level is 2.2 uh, trillion becquerels, and I guess that's what's been released already. So the so, becquerel level was what is now? Is now what? Well, the treated 22. water that's, that, that's going to be released. It hasn't been released yet. Okay, so before the disaster, it was 2.2 trillion becquerels. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then after what's going to be released is 22 trillion. Yeah, less than 22. Okay. So it's probably like 21.999. They just say less because it makes them sound a little better. By the way, this is where this guy comes in. Water cooler diplomacy has been every single day. Let me sorry. Every single day he's been going on about it is irresponsible for China to release nuclear. Japan. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, of course. Yeah. He wouldn't say China. No, it's irresponsible for yeah, <laughs> for Japan to release Nuclear contaminated water. And every day he goes on about this. Yes. Him and the Chinese foreign ministry. And okay, rightly so. If you're a neighboring country, you obviously don't want nuclear waste dumped in the water. You don't in want the back in there. No, screw those back rolls. They mess with the back rolls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. <laughs> and makuro in j- Japanese is tuna, which is Isn't weird. That hilarious. Yeah. yeah, anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> For whatever reason. Anyway. So... <clears throat> Oh, by the way, people are so confused. Yeah. My mother-in-law and people were buying salt because they were afraid it was going to be contaminated by the... the... I didn't finish that sentence. Right, They're right. like, why are they buying salt? No, di- didn't they think it could be used as a, as a cure for there was, radiation? There was two. Yeah. First, the first thing was like, all the salt comes from this these salt mines in the area, and the salt comes from the ocean too. So mm. the sea salt will be contaminated because of the nuclear reactor, and our right. sea, we share the same sea. Then people are like, if we eat a lot of salt, we can actually protect yeah, ourselves. Yeah, and like salt can be it. used to like decontaminate yeah. radiation or something. So it's two is a two pronged thing. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, so the fact of the matter is that China's been making a big hoo ha on the international stage, and all the foreign ministry has been complaining the hell out of, hey, Japan's going to release this stuff. But it turns out that China releases far more nuclear contaminated water in their own water. Yeah, exactly. I mean, let's take a look at some of the nuclear power plants here. Okay, so the we'll start at the bottom here. The the Yangjiang uh, nuclear I've plant gone, but past that. Yep. actually on the way to Hainan. Yep, about 112 trillion becquerels. Is that in 2021? 2021. So in 2021, they released 112 tr- trillion, and Japan's planning to release less than 22. Yes. And then we've got the uh, Ningde nuclear power plant, which will release about 102 trillion becquerels. Yeah. You know, we're probably mis- mispronouncing this. It's probably got a different name. It's becquerels I mean, now. Becquerel, you know, becquerels for the mackerels, you know. No one's yelled at us. Okay, good. Uh, and then, of course, you've got the, the Qinshan Phase 3 nuclear power plant. Sounds pretty cool, by the way, Phase 3. Yeah, well, I also think, you know, like they say, Fukushima number one. Yeah. It's lame, but in Japanese, like, Fukushima Daiichi. Yeah, sounds yeah, better, yeah, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. It sounds more cool. It does. Yeah, <laughs> anyway. Sounds like you're saying Daiichi. Yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, like together. hit together. No, <laughs> yeah. Dai, dai is, is da, you know, okay. big got one it. or whatever. So uh, 143 trillion becquerels. That's a lot. 143 trillion compared to less than 22. Yeah. And that was in 2020, right? Yikes. And uh, of course, you've got the Hong Yanhe 
nuclear plants has released about 90 trillion We know exactly where that is. That's in uh, Yentai, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, we've been past most of these. We've been in that. I've been right next to that. We filmed that. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, guys, China has been releasing far more nuclear contaminated water into the seas in that area than Japan ever has or ever plans to. So why do they keep going on about it? Because, just like everything else, they hide all their own data. This is data that you can't hide, though, because you can take a reading. Yes. You know, it's pretty easy. They hide everything from the rest of the world, and then they blame other people because it's an easy way to sow division. What is that called, actually? Oh, it's called... Projection! That's correct. Water cooler diplomat has been going wild about it, hasn't he? He has. I have not seen a single day where this guy, you know, has not moaned and bitched and pissed and vinegar about Japan's nuclear water. It's so... I want him to reply... It doesn't have to be to you, to anyone that keeps showing him this photo. Yeah, there's an article. There's, a, yeah. there's an actual article in uh, Japan Times, which, you know, you can look it up. But um, China has been releasing far more nuclear contaminated water into the seas around there than Japan. Please acknowledge yeah. that at least. And yeah. say, yes, I don't want, yes, we did a bazillion times more, but still we don't want that too. Yeah, may, <laughs> maybe we're say saying that. like it's irresponsible for Japan to release less contaminated water yes. than China does. <laughs> Yes, you know, yes. it's like, don't even, why are you even trying to fight us, How about us, bro? we stop releasing contaminated water? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So for those of you who might be getting caught up in all of this, because there's a lot of international brouhaha coming out of China about this nuclear contaminated water out of Japan, maybe take a look at how bad China is as well. Yes. It's all bad, by the way. Don't release nuclear contaminated water to anyone. A, be- a becquerel is one radioactive nucleus decaying per second. There we go. That makes sense. So trillions of seconds. That's going to yeah, take too- literally a lifetime. Yeah. Or yeah. actually multiple, multiple well, You don't want this things. decaying nonsense in your Millions water. Millions of years. Anyway, the fact of the matter is China's a far worse offender when it comes to this. And so, once again, if you live in glass houses, you know, don't throw stones. Yeah, just don't talk about it then. Yeah, how if about you, you shut the hell up, up? You shut up because guess what? We have transparent research around the world. Mm-hmm. So yeah. people are going to be able to talk about it, unlike in China. It's a joke. Yeah. They're losing the plot about how to do propaganda. But you know, the thing is, in China, people don't know. Yeah. They don't know that China's actually releasing far more than Japan ever will. Yeah. So they look at the news, they look at the propaganda, and That's they're like, correct. Japan's evil. Yeah. You know? Shaoruben. Yeah, exactly. Little just... Japan, they call it. Yep. Shaoruben goes the little Japan ghost. And that's what the Chinese propaganda department's all about, yep. is to other everybody, blame mm-hmm. everyone else, without ever having introspection, without ever yes. once saying like, hey, you know what, maybe we made some mistakes. It's here. unfair when you're trying to be a global leader. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta come to, you gotta be taken to task. Yeah. So we thought we'd just shine some light on that. You can go do some research to confirm that yourself, because yes. it's true. In China, people do not want to get involved in anyone else's problems because yeah. it might affect them. Yeah, they don't want to get sued. They don't want to be They just don't want their life to... They don't want to, they don't want to get up. If she passed out from heat exhaustion, there are crowds there. And not a single person uh, goes to help. All right, the security guard's like, I'm, I'm out of here. not my job. Dude looks over. He's like, whatever. Everybody's like, driving past. It's normal for that. Look, woman walks past. She's like, "Oh, okay." Like I said, it's the go-to in China. It's the it is the norm to do this. Okay. Yeah, to look. (laughs) Today in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how to have dirty talk in bed. Open your legs widely. Show me your private part. You bitch. Take a breath, you fill up my lungs. Yeah. And if my mind-